It's no secret that Gabby and the Gabby Cats are one creative bunch. <gasps> I got a great idea! Today, we're taking a look at the top five kitty cat crafts from Gabby's dollhouse. What's she making? We'll have to wait and see. Starting with number five, gold badges. When Cat Rat the Bandit steals the gold nuggets, Gabby and Pandy must get them back so Baby Box can finish her craft. You got my gold nuggets back from Cat Rat the Bandit. And for that... Don't peek, it's a surprise. <laughs> For Sheriff Gabby and Sheriff Pandy. Yeah! yeah! And I even got something for Cat Rat the Bandit. <laughs> yep, for being the best bad guy in the Wild West. I made it extra shiny for you. You know me so well. Baby Box likes to try crafting just about anything. Which brings us to number four, an itty bitty blossom rocker that'll put anyone to sleep. Stop crying. We need to build something to rock them all to sleep at the same time. Can you help us? Ta-da! An itty bitty blossom rocker. Well, let's get to rocking. Whew. Ah, this is more like it. Huh? What? Oh, excuse me. On to number three, a dragon disguise. King Catnip's trapped in the tower, and the key to save him is in the clutches of a ferocious dragon. To get back the key, they'll need a dragon disguise of their own. We'll start with some big boxes for the body and head. Then add some whiskers, the eyes, some cute little horns, and some big drag knees. Ooh, can't forget the wheels. And done! Huzzah! And just like that, Cat Rat is catastically brave. Next up at number two is a super storytelling craft. Super banana! Just da da! It's Super Banana! But Super Banana is only a part of my idea. We can use art supplies to craft up a whole Super Banana story. Oh, yeah! With a bad guy. Yeah, it's Mr. Marker. I'm the baddest bad guy in Craft Town. <laughs> and, and someone for Super Banana to see. Oh, Chief Chief, I'm trapped on top of this tall building. I'm coming to save you, Pom Pom. Yay! Chief Chief. <laughs> You're not saved yet, Pom Pom. <laughs> gotcha. was an meowsing story. You really came up with a great idea, Baby Box. That was a meowsing. And finally, at number one is a craft for you to try making at home, a knight's shield. So grab your materials and do your best to follow along with Pandy's instructions. You need your very own royal shield. Do you want me to show you how to make one? The first things we need are some sturdy cardboard, some royal tape, and a bold crayon. Thank you, royal hamster kitties. First, we need to make the handle. Use a strip of cardboard and tape it down on each side. There. Now, use your crayon to draw your big cat head shield design. Like this. On the inside, you make a big upside down V at the bottom and a line connecting it to the top. Now you have your three sections. That's where the royal kitties go. Huzzah! Now it's time for my favorite part. The royal glue! We need to cover all the crayon lines with glue. Easy peasy, glue so squeezy. Two drops for the eyes, 
royal smile. And there. To make it look totally potastic, we need... The royal tinfoil. The majestic markers. And the royal cotton swab. Place the tinfoil over the cardboard and wrap it around the edges. Ready to see the royal swab in action? Watch this. When you rub around all the glue lines, the design comes out on the foil. Pretty cool, huh? Now, each time you complete an act of knighthood, you can color in one of your kitties. Check it out! Huzzah! Royal Paw Bump? Huzzah! That was fantastic. Now you have your very own knight's shield to protect your castle. If you want to try making any of these crafts yourself, make sure to re-watch this video or follow along with Gabby's Dollhouse, now streaming on Netflix.